Here we are going to multiply and simplify this two radical expression. And you have to remember inside times inside and outside times outside. First of all, you see that this phi is on the outside. Phi times this cube root, right? And for the second parentheses here, we technically just have a 1 on the outside. So based on the numbers on the outside, 5 times 1 is just 5. That's all. And next, both of these two are the cube root. So let me just open the cube root right here. And we are going to multiply the insides together. As we can see, we have 6 times 4. That's going to give us 24, and that stays inside. And then we have x to the 8th power times x to the 5th power. When we multiply, and they have the same base, we are going to add the exponents. So x to the 8 times x to the 5, it's going to be x to the 8 plus 5 is 13. And then for the y, this is y to the 1st, and this is y to the 2nd. We are going to get y to the 1 plus 2, which is the third power. So this is the first step, inside times inside, outside times outside. And then we are going to look at this cube root and try to simplify this. Let's take care of the number first. Well, we have a 24 inside of the cube root, right? To simplify this part, we are going to ask ourselves, what times what is going to give us 24? And one of the, one of the numbers shall be a perfect cube. Well, we know 2 times 12, but then 2 is not a perfect cube, 12 is not a perfect cube. But we know 8 times 3 is 24, right? And 8 is actually a perfect cube. So let me look at this, and then let me break it down as cube root of 8 times cube root of 3. 8 times 3 gives us a 24, and they're both inside. And you should write down the perfect cube first. Because you know this is going to be a nice number 2, right? Cube root of 8, it's going to give us 2. So let me write down a few things right here. The 5 stays in the front, right? And this is just a 2. And we are going to multiply with a 5. But let me put that down first. We will multiply 5 and 2 on the outside. And we know this part, this 3, is still inside of the cube root. And in fact, we also have to simplify the x and the y, right? Let me just open with some space right here. Let me open the cube root right here. We know we have this 3 inside. For the 24, the, inside of the cube root, we broken down into 2 cube root of 3. And now we are going to work out how can we simplify x to the 13th power inside of the cube root. And to do so, we're just going to divide the powers. So this right here, let me just put it down on the side. We are going to do this for x. All we have to do is look at the power here and then divide it by the index. So I just have to look at 13 and I'm going to divide it by 3. And please do no division because we need to look at the remainder. You see, 3 goes into 13 at most 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12 and then we subtract and we have the 1 left, right? This is important because this 4 is going to tell us how many of the x that we can take out. We will have x to the 4th power on the outside. And let's put that down. x to the 4th power on the outside. And this 1 is a remainder. And this should remind you, we have one more x remains inside. So inside here, we have x to the 1st power. Let me put down the 1 right here to emphasize we have this 1x left. If this was a 2, of course you will have x squared inside. Okay? At the end, we do this, y to the third power inside of the cube root. And let me just demonstrate that we can use the long division here. Well, I'm going to look at this, put it inside, and I'm going to divide it by the index, which is 3. Well, 3 goes into 3 exactly one time, 1 times 3 is 3, subtract, you get 0. This one tells us that we can take out one of the y outside. So we have y to the first power. And then we have 0y inside. No more y inside. If you want to put it down as y to the 0th power, fine. But that's just 1 anyways, right? 0 remainder, that means we have no more y inside. At the very end, I'm just going to clear things up for you guys. For example, I can do 5 times 2, which is 10. And then let's write this down nicely. We have x to the 4th power here. 
y to the first, then we just put on y to the first, which is already known the one. And then for the cube root, write it down nicely. The little three is right here, and then we have the radical symbol, and then inside we have the three x to the first. So just three x like this. This right here is the answer.